and good morning. Well, this morning I'm going to talk to you a little bit, just got an introduction to study of forest ecology as I see it, and uh, some of the reasons it's interesting to do, and I thought, well, there's no better place to bring you this discussion than a beautiful lake in the middle of the Cascade Mountains here. And as an introduction to forest ecology, I think the first thing I want to say is, uh, you may have taken this class because you thought, well, I'd like to know, I'd like to understand forest ecology. And, uh, and I guess the first thing I'd, I'd say is, uh, just a little kind of humbling reminder that, uh, you know, one, one lifetime is not enough. Um, one hour is not enough, one class is not enough, one lifetime is not enough, as these tiny little evolved beings on this big blue marble, we have just a short snapshot of time, and, uh, thinking about that th this morning, because I'm staring at this lake, and, uh, uh, my coffee here is going down, and, uh, I don't quite have enough time to enjoy this lake with my warm cup of coffee this morning. And, and that's just the way it always has to be. As each second goes by, we're into something different changes upon us. I only have one, two seconds before something happens. That light up on the hills, that sun rising on those trees, slowly moving down. and. No matter what I do, I can't hold this moment because it'll pass and the next one is coming. And that ephemeral nature is also tied to our own discipline and our own short lives, our own existence within, within forests. Our short lives, a hundred years, it's just not enough to ever comprehend the magnitude of time that we have to deal with and, and think about. How can the consciousness that's only around for 20 to 50 to 100 years, how can we possibly comprehend 14 billion years? The timeline so far, we've, we've come up for uh, come up with for being able to measure the existence. Can't wrap my head around that. Four billion years, time, uh, the timeline we've come up for this big blue marble. Can't wrap my head around that completely. Three and a half billion years timeline we've come up for with so far for life. Can't wrap my head around that. It's a huge amount of time. Now 400 million years, now we're starting to get a little bit better. Now we're talking about the dawn of land plants on this big blue marble. And shortly after that, the dawn of forests. So 450 million years, 400 million years, and then around 300 million years we start getting our some of our uh, conifers. Cut that in half, get down to 100 million years ago, or 200 million years ago, 100 million years ago, now we start to get our angiosperm plants and things start to get a little bit closer to where we are now. So the timelines we have to deal with are tremendous. It's a little bit more manageable to think in terms of hundreds of years, which is the hundreds or thousands of years, which are the timelines we get to come up with for these forests. The forests I'm looking at here, uh, 600, year, 600 uh, years old, 500 years old. In the background, some of them, some of them younger. Some of those right along the shore, much younger than that. The timeline for succession in our forests, uh, going up to six, seven hundred years old before either something overcomes uh, 
individual trees and they need to move on into the next into the next stage of becoming standing dead habitat for other organisms or falling down on the ground and becoming downward. Those are the timelines we gotta think about in forest ecology, but we gotta preface it with the understanding that the rules that govern the interactions for succession and the interactions among all these organisms, this swallow flying up in the sky, the sunlight triggering photosynthesis and the hill on the other side of the lake, the evaporation of water from the surface of this lake, the duck digesting the seaweed it just ate, uh, all of these processes um, are governed by dynamics, of course, that uh, are far older. In the case of photosynthesis, we're dealing with timeline that is that's going back older than land plants, right? Older than 400 million years ago. So these simple rules allow a complexity of interaction, and it, one of the, the big lessons from forest ecology. Um, is that even in a system that's relatively simple with relatively few species, you can take a few simple rules, and if they are independent simple rules and you put them together, you can generate complexity quickly. And forest science is the study of complex systems. And so that's where we find ourselves, a study of complex systems on timelines that are... Uh, almost unimaginable uh, to us. And we just get a short uh, window of time in which to jump in and try to understand what these systems are all about. And that may not seem like much, but there is a promise there. Because if you just woke up in existence and the only thing that you could come up with to do was to try to understand more about this crazy world that we live in, uh, congratulations. I think you just found the, the golden chalice for, uh, for a, a well-lived existence, uh, which is just uh, an enduring curiosity for the world in which you find yourself. All right, well, with that, uh, I hope this video wasn't too long, and uh, we're going to, from here, we're going to jump into a bunch of forest ecology concepts, succession, and uh, all sorts of things. So, from me to you, cheers from a high Cascades mountain lake. Here's to the future.